What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you information on the latest web this week at Bungie and this one was a big one. This one is the one we have been waiting for since before Christmas. This one is the answer to whether or not the game will be resuscitated because we know people is down and it's dead at the moment and it does need resuscitating and hopefully this is what we will get with the update so let's get straight into it people and um, we're going to start from the very top we're going to go through all so i apologize for videos over 10 minutes you know i don't normally stretch my news videos over 10 minutes because they don't need to but yeah if this one is i apologize for that but if you do stay to the end i do appreciate that i really do okay so getting straight into it Game director Christopher Barrett, the one and only person I trust that one jelly minute. Hey everyone, at the end of last year I made a promise that I would update you on our plans for Destiny 2. The team has been at hard work and we're ready to share where we are headed. We used to wait to talk about game updates until we were certain we would meet our deadlines to avoid letting players down if we change our plans. No longer, we're not just listening, we are doing Please keep in mind that the further out we make promises, the more they are subject to change. With that being said people, here are their plans. Destiny content categories. One thing we want to set clearer expectations for is which categories of content are available for everyone each season and which are exclusive to Destiny 2 expansions. Expansions are purchasable updates that typically add new story, destinations and gear as well as new crucible strike and raid layer content. Seasons introduce content that is made available to all players of Destiny 2 at no additional cost. Iron Banner faction rallies and their rewards will be available to everyone as part of Season 2. Additionally going forward we are making a change that new seasonal rewards from Crucible Strikes and the Trials of Nine will be available to all players. Faction Rallies returns on January 16th and Iron Banner will be back in the rotation on January 30th. I cannot wait people I can't wait. Eververse, now this one is a big one people. We recognise that the scales are tipped too far towards test at the moment and Eververse was never intended to be a substitute for end game content and rewards so we'll be making three changes for upcoming seasons. We'll shift the balance of new content in favour of activity rewards over bright engrams. This includes adding ghosts, barrels and ships to date found only in bright engrams to achievement reward pools. Now that is what I have been asking for for since the start people you guys know the amount of bitching I have done aimed at Bungie and Tess Eververse and said there wouldn't be a problem with her as long as her loot that was available from these Brighton Grams was made available from other sources in the game and that's what it seems they're doing. We we'll provide a gameplay path to earn bright engrams and all contained rewards, including event engrams. We we'll give players more direct purchase options and make adjustments to bright engrams to allow players to get the items they want more often. We have begun implementing these changes for the Crimson Days event beginning February 13th. Write that down in your calendar people if that interests you. With even more changes underway in Season 3. Completing Nightfall Raid and Crimson Days milestones during Crimson Days will reward you an exclusive legendary emote, weapon skin and exotic sparrow respectively. Players will earn double engrams at level up, one crimson engram and one illuminated engram for the duration of the event. Crimson engrams can also drop from completing the Crimson Days match and from completing the Crimson Days milestones on each character. Each crimson engram is very strongly weighted to new rewards when decrypted until all new event items have been obtained. They're going to speak about XP rates. We are still investigating changes to XP earn rates. Our goal with any updates to XP are transparency and consistent XP gain regardless of your preferred activity. Right now it's too slow in general and lopsided towards grinding specific activities, which is not a fun grind. And we want to fix that without making those activities low value to players who aren't grinding them. Fairness is cool. Our first attempt uh, turned out to be unworkably buggy, so we're having to investigate other angles. We will continue to update you as we move forward. The feature roadmap. There are three releases that we want to put on your radar right now. Later releases will get more specific dates as they get closer. 
The following content and features will be available to all D2 players, regardless of expansion ownership. January 30th update, Masterwork Armor. We are expanding the Masterwork system to include armor. Masterwork armor provides increased damage reduction while using your super. You can reroll the armor stat, type on your Masterwork armor, and similar to Masterwork weapons, you can upgrade a piece of armor to Masterwork by spending Masterwork cores and legendary shards. So that is pretty cool, and we also get a pick of a Masterwork helmet for the Master Class, which is the Hunter people. Raid, Reward, Rework. We are updating raid rewards to make them more unique and interesting. They will now feature mods with raid specific perks. Sounds amazing. And we are adjusting the rewards to ensure a raid item drops from each major encounter. The raid vendor will also directly sell Leviathan and Eater of Wood armor and weapons for purchase with raid tokens and legendary shards. So that's pretty good. We are also adding a new ghost with raid specific perks that has a chance to drop from the Leviathan and Eater of Worlds final encounters. We intend to return to creating more raid and other activity unit rewards in the future. Strikes, strikes Bungie if you're listening, strikes. February update, strike scoring and high score tracking. Strike scoring is coming to Nightfall and replacing the current time limit mechanic. The scoring is similar to the Destiny 1 system, but with adjustments to emphasis, competitive, execution of strike objectives and support for player selectable score modifiers. In February, Nightfall high scores will be exposed in game via new emblems and will unlock rewards. We also have plans for clan and community high scores in the works, sounds pretty cool. Mods 2.0 Work is underway on a full rework of armor and weapon mods. This will focus on reducing redundant mods, more unique theming and greatly increased their impact on your power. We are aiming for a February release but the scope of a rework with push parts or all of it out to early spring. We will be evaluating how mods play into the Bright Engram economy as a result because we're sensitive to pay to win outcomes. That's good to hear to be honest, not gonna lie. Quick play improvements. We are adjusting game mode rules to increase the pace of gameplay and power ammo acquisition in quick play. PC tower chat. We are adding text chat to the tower for the PC version of the game. Exotic Repetition Reduction This will prevent players from receiving the same exotic twice in a row. You may still receive duplicates, but you just basically ain't gonna get two drop of the same exotic in a row. And this happens to me so often, people! Fire team members on Destination Map You will finally be able to see the other members of your fire team on the Destination Map. No more having to ask your fire team where they went when they fast travel to another landing zone. That is pretty cool too. Spring 2018. We're taking the time we need in development of Expansion 2 that will allow us to react to player feedback from Curse of Osiris. In the coming months, we'll talk to you more about what you can expect to find in Destiny 2's next story. The team is eager to show you what they've been working on. Independent of Expansion 2, the team will deliver a number of new features that will be released before or during Season 3. Every player of Destiny 2 will receive new content in the following categories. Perusable. We want to give players new reasons to play, more variety and balance improvements. Spring will bring a number of exciting and longer waiting features to the Crucible. Crucible rank. Beginning with Season 3, we will introduce Seasonal Crucible ranks. There will be two different ranks for players to pursue. Valor. A progression rank that goes up as you complete matches. Winning helps you move up faster, but there are no loss penalties. Absolutely amazing people and we need this, we seriously do. And we got Glory, a progression rank that goes up when you win and down when you lose. Performance is how you move up here. I just can't wait people. I mean like I enjoy PvP, you've probably heard me say a hundred times over. But I just find myself getting bored really quick because there's nothing, to, there's no depth to it. There's nothing to play it for. With a rank for me to chase, I'm totally down. I am totally down people. Private matches. Private matches are coming to all players of Destiny 2. Players will be able to invite their friends to play on the map and mode of their choosing. 6v6 playlist. Damn! We're bringing 6v6 PvP to Destiny 2 in addition to the current 4v4 game modes. 
That is great news. That is seriously great news. Mayhem event. Mayhem will return as a limited time event during season three and going forward. I mean, like, this is something I still don't agree with. This needs to be here 24-7. I mean, Mayhem is seriously fun. It really is. It's where it's at, if you ask me. Additional fixes. We're making some changes to make quitting less common. And behind the scenes, security improvements to help improve the overall Crucible experience. Additional highlights. Weapon and ability balance pass. Sandbox adjustments based on player feedback and data from the live game. The sandbox team will share specific changes as we lead up to season 3. Exotic weapon and armor balance pass. Exotic weapons and armors are receiving a comprehensive design pass to ensure they stand out from the rest of the gear and offer new, exciting, powerful ways to play. Sounds good. Seasonal reputation. Specific vendors will now display a seasonal ranking. Earning reputation will unlock unique seasonal rewards and will reset each season. Improved Iron Banner and Faction Rallies. In addition to the changes that you will see when Iron Banner and Faction Rallies return this month, we will continue iterating on these to make them unique, exciting experiences that you will look forward to. Playlist Repetition Reduction. This feature solves the problem of experiencing the same player's entry multiple times in consecutive or frequent succession for both Crucible and Strikes. End game player pursuits. We agree with your feedback on the imbalance between achievement and bright engram rewards, and we will be making adjustments to shift more rewards into specific end game pursuits instead of generic XP grinding for bright engrams. We are excited to share the details as soon as we've worked them out. Multi emote. When multi emote launches, you will be able to choose which emote you have equipped to each of your four emote slots. Great. Vault space. Now, this is a big one, people. We are targeting an additional 50 slots to player vaults. We don't believe just adding more space is a complete solution and are actively working on other changes to reduce load on your vault space. We are adding an exotic accessory tab to vault collection so that you will no longer need to spend vault space on exotic ships, sparrows and ghosts. That's actually pretty cool, but we need one, we need a separate one for mods and other things like that. PC clan chat, in addition to the tower chat that is targeted for February, we're adding clan chat to PC versions of the game. Heroic Strike Changes. We'll be introducing modifiers to add more gameplay variety to the experience. That's actually great. Fall 2018 or sooner. We're working on a lot more that we're not quite ready to discuss. Expect more on this small sample of items in the future. Item collections and records. Weapon slot and archetype improvements. Additional crucible playlists, e.g. Rumble. Better clan rewards. Masterwork exotics. Damn! Pinnacle weapon and gear improvements, trials and line improvements, shaders and dismantling, the future of guided games, address solo versus fire team matching. Sounds cool, but that masterwork exotics, damn people, I can't wait to hear more on that, I seriously can't. One final note, expect to hear more from us via Bungie.net, Twitch and social media. We'll be talking to you more directly and more often as promised. We want to thank our community for all the passionate and detailed feedback you provide. It's critical to our ability to continually improve Destiny, so thank you. Talk to you soon, Christopher Barrett, the one and only. But yes, people, that is one big ass update with a lot of things to actually talk about. Now, I ain't gonna go through them all in this video today. I'm just trying to get my head around what's actually here. I'll probably bring you a couple of videos tomorrow because it's actually really late here now in the UK. It's almost 1 a.m. So I wanna get this video out to you guys as soon as possible. So I'll probably post a few other videos tomorrow covering a few aspects of these, which are definitely worth digging deeper into and discussing. So expect them soon. But yes, people, tell me what you think about this future update. Are you looking, well, future update, shall I say? There's so much here to talk about. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully people, I will see you on that next one.